I don't think we need food right now. Still have one crab and uh, we should be able to find a few green coconuts here and there for water. Which I do kind of need right now. Okay, so there's a big stone and we should come across a, a set of whale bones, I think. Yeah, okay, pick this up. So, so far I haven't seen anything disappear, right? But then again, I haven't tested it thoroughly. So I think just dropping the leaves on the ground or something like that inside the cave, once we get there, should be good enough. Things like leaves, though, they should be okay. Things like sticks, yeah. Six leaves. Rocks. Oh, actually, all the stones are kind of valuable, actually. Stones are kind of valuable. And there is the wild bones, right there. Okay, there's another massive stone. Oh, shit, can't move. All right. Um, yeah, this thing's way... Eight kilos. Okay, fine. I'll come back for it. Um, your coconuts. Coconuts. I thought you were crabs. Okay, we're about to hit the limit. Yeah, that's probably a whale carcass. And here. There. That's a grotto. You can camp in here, by the way, because this is not exposed to anything. Well, in certain areas. Mushrooms, okay. Okay, it's raining outside. Uh-huh. Nice. Okay, let's... Let's dump some leaves. Because they weigh a lot, actually. Which one weighs 0 0.5? If you carry, like, dozens. So that should be okay, right? Now, let's see over here. Um, let's put the other leaves over here. Yellow leaves? Where's yellow leaves? Uh, they don't weigh as much. But yeah, the, the narrow leaves actually weigh the most. But it all adds up. It all adds up. Let me carry like two. And uh, white leaves somewhere. Don't want to go too far because there are scorpions like you see there. And you can cook them for poison. It's just that they always come back. That improves that throwing skill, even if you didn't want the poison. Ah, yes, that's uh, that's a, that's uh, what do you call it? Um, that's fire starter material. Is that a crap? No, it isn't. Okay. Yeah, more narrow leaves, wide leaves, okay. So this is where Ponce de Leon was camped. Pile of scrap, no, that's fine. Actually, anything to do? No, just bones, okay, bones, okay, fair enough. Living water. Note about living water. I'm leaving this bottle of the living water so that the person who finds it can restore their health if they shipwrecks. Good luck to you, friend. Very specific, eh? Very specific to our situation. That's fine. Our captain, Juan Ponce de Leon, also survived the shipwreck. Sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. He located the grotto and made it his temporary shelter. Then he started to act quickly and decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore the island. He named it the Island of Hope. During another trip, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of our ships. The captain left this note, then hurriedly packed up and sailed toward the sound of the cannon fire. He was in a rush to help his crew. Running quickly, he forgot his spyglass on the other side of the island. If I find it, I will be able to look around the island. To anyone who reads this, I am Juan Ponce de Leon, head of the expedition studying these islands. I barely survived the shipwreck and arrived here on a lifeboat. I'm leaving this note in case someone on my crew also survived. That means me, us, your. I have spent a few days investigating this island and I'm leaving a rough map and my notes about the island here, in this grotto. The island is uninhabited, but it's full of wild birds and animals, so be careful. I found ruins and other traces of an ancient civilization. This morning I was exploring a bay to the east and heard distant cannon fire. 
This must be a signal from one of our ships. Sounds like it is close enough to the island. My rescue boat is still intact, so I will go there immediately to find the survivors. P.S. Just before sailing, I noticed I forgot my spyglass at the place where I heard cannon fire. You can look for it. It is in a conspicuous place with many fireflies. If you find it, I recommend you take a good look around in clear weather before you go after me. The ancient observatory at the top of the mountain will be the perfect place to do this. It is easy to find. The white symbol above it is visible from almost anywhere. Everywhere, rather. It is easy to find. The white symbol above it is visible from almost everywhere. Right, on top of the mountain. I have found some ruins, but not the top of the mountain. Okay, so it's getting late. Right, that is a map. Uh, actually, there's another note here. Unfinished region map. Okay, so there's a shipwreck. So supposedly there might be something that we can find there. Maybe we'll need a ship though, or a boat, some kind of raft. But anyway, we know it's there. Here's us. Here's some water, here's some water, and here's where the spyglass was on the other side. So previously I went around by the coast and made it up there. I have not explored the interior, so it could be interesting. Right, uh, let me pick these things up. Let me, yeah, let me disassemble this. What is this? Coal, okay. Reason being that uh, if you set down a bed on, in the interior here, there's a chance of pests. So if you place it in the interior of the cave, there's a chance of pests. Whereas if you place it in the entrance, it's okay. So this applies especially to beds. Okay, gotta get the fire going so I can build a bed. Oh shit. Oh, it's dark. Do I need to eat? Do I need to cook? Well, that's about to rot. Okay, so... Ah, oh, I got sick. Okay, so we got sick from eating that crab. Yeah, anyway, so there are some conditions. There's a lot of conditions. So, for example, if we got bit by those, or if we got stung by those uh, scorpions, I would have got poisoning. So, I think we've got some food poisoning right there. Flu is from getting cold, and sunburn is from being exposed to the sun for too long. Wounds is from being attacked, of course. Overheating, yep. Malaria and fever I haven't seen yet. Anyway, what do I have? Stomach ache, okay. So, if you're not well nourished, so in this case we're a bit thirsty, there's, you basically have a 50-50 chance of either recovering or getting some worse conditions. So I think all illnesses have four stages. So in this case, we just have a stage one stomach ache. So in this case, we just have to avoid eating any uh, spoiled food or raw food. Just make sure we're eating well and then just uh, sleeping. Although we can get some medicine. Chamomile juice. There is chamomile juice around here, by the way. So let me make a bed. Yeah, we can make some stone arrows if we want. You can turn the scorpions into poison. So this is an anti-venom. And yes, fried eggs, as you can see there. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough for that. That's fine. This is fine. We need to make sure that we're away from pests. Okay, there you go. It is quite late. Although I didn't see any risk of actually getting hurt. I'm not gonna have to think about this. Why were we okay for that? Okay, so the worms will spawn a bit. Eggs, yeah, we should cook the eggs sooner rather than later. So when you highlight an item, you can also see what blueprint applied to it. So I'm guessing that if we make this, then we should be able to map things faster. So just using the charcoal took us about three hours. So this one should be a lot faster, right? Eggs we have. I don't know what clay is. Piece of clay. Okay. But we can also make arrows from these feathers. So better arrows have more durability and cause more damage. So just stone arrows are pretty weak. Yeah, bone arrows will be pretty much the ideal. We'll craft ourselves some coconut water. Drink it and then go to sleep. Yeah, so we could definitely use a better bed, right? There is something back here. I can't see it. I need a torch. I need a torch. So next time we actually uh, start a fire, we'll do that. And what condition is this? A stomach ache. Okay. Maybe I don't have enough energy. Okay, I'll tell you what. Because we picked up some living water, and we are near death, as the game says. Uh, so I don't know what happens... So let's say you get killed by an animal. You wake up at the nearest bed with this condition again. So I don't know what happens if you die while you have this condition. Maybe you perma-die. So just because I don't know whether I'll perma-die if I die with this condition, I'll actually partake in the living water. Which will raise our cap for that. So that's gone. We still have stomach aches. So I should definitely eat. Um, yeah, need some water. And let's get some... Yeah, we'll get a coconut as well. 
And because we're well fed, now that improves our chances of recovering significantly. But right now we can't afford to uh, sleep for too long. Okay, now it's kind of sunny outside. Because we're outside the tutorial, let me just freely go and craft some shit. So in this case, we need some clothes. If you remember, we had a pretty high risk of sunburn. Uh, the leaf cape, that requires five. Yeah, small chance of injury. That's okay, we're gonna wear it. If you look in the inventory, that auto wears it. And yeah, it does give you some shielding from getting wounded. Same with poisoning. Not a huge amount, but yeah, a decent amount. But the most important thing is that it gives us some protection, which we dial in need right now. Okay, let's make a hat. Uh-huh, crafting's gone up. And what does that do, by the way? Crafting. So, yeah, it makes crafting faster. Same with... This one uh, this makes your aiming more efficient. This one increases the food nutrition. Strength and athletics are basically very important. Because, yeah, you can carry more and you can run more. Look at those sandals. Okay, so we're lacking uh, one single wide leaf. But otherwise, we have a 75% protection from the sun. Okay, so the only thing left is the legs. Now, if I step outside the sun, there is still the risk of getting burnt, but that should not increase too quickly. Okay, food dehydrator. We can use that to uh, dry out things like fruits for better storage. Right, rain collector. So something like this is actually very important to get. What is this? Still, okay. Cards. Liana rope. Okay, so lots of things depend on ropes. Lots of things. So I need to find lianas. Now, where? That's the problem, right? Large box. Okay, so we can make this right away. 40 kilos. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll do that. I'm not sure if important items disappear, so can't run the risk. Uh, hopefully animals don't destroy this. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Um, food, water. Oh, eggs. Okay, don't worry about eggs. Yeah, so we need some water. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's make our way over there. Yeah, let's make our way over to... Uh, to the next location. Should I run? Mm, probably shouldn't run, by the way. Oh, it's getting it's about midday. All I've done so far in the game is find the grotto and get up get up to the, the other end of the island and find the spyglass. That's about as far as I've taken it. Anything beyond that is basically blind play. In the leg. So I'm gonna hunt all the crabs that I can get. Level 2 throwing, okay. 10% faster aiming, reduces stamina, excellent. Yeah, the, oh, it, oh, that was, okay, that was a turtle, sorry. Sorry, turtle, um, okay, fine. I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad, no, sorry. I killed you, sorry. Tore the shell, raw meat. Uh, no cutter, okay. Oh, yes, I should make a cutter. Okay, I screwed up, I should have made a cutter as well, oops. Uh, so I'm going to guess that I'll have to start a fire once I get to my destination, so I will have to sleep. Okay, and that's a fishing spot, by the way. The big fish. So we could craft a rod. So it looks like items actually have some... Oh, oh actually, I could carry that. Okay, fine. So it looks like items actually have permanency. Oh, actually, yes, yes, yes. I can carry this into the shade, right? Oh, nice. Nice, well done game. Although, yeah, I might end up getting a bit of sun exposure. Yes, I did. Here, roasted meat, campfire. What can I do with the tortoise shell? Tortoise shell mortar, okay. Short handle. What the hell is a short handle? From a big branch, okay. Oh, okay, so this is useful. Um, doesn't expire, does it? No, it does not. Not very heavy either, excellent. So I'm basically okay when it comes to the sun now. So that clothing was actually really important. And also, is it... Did I just see some thunder? Or lightning? No. It was just a game glitch, man. So yeah, I want to pick up all of the coconuts that I see. And all the leaves. Because we're definitely going to have to make a bed once we get there. And basically, I'm going to treat that location as a secondary base. Just on the other side of the island. Just leave a bed in there. Because that's nice and safe as well. No exposure to anything, so yeah, very important. Okay, this is another fishing spot, and let's take a close look at this one. Mm -hmm, you can sit down, there's fishies in there. Uh, if you actually, if you jump into the sea water, you end up getting soaked. Which is not the worst thing, but... So, it's okay during the day. Although, I don't think the sun actually dries you out. But the chance of getting sick from uh, getting soaked is not that big. But I think if you're exposed at night, that could be a problem. 
So anyway, I need to conserve my energy. It's getting, yeah, it's getting, oh shit, it's getting very late. It's getting very, very late. I need to find uh, enough leaves to make a bed. So hopefully I'll be able to get maybe 10 hours of sleep once we get there. But I don't want to, I don't want to sprint because you end up fainting. Okay, there's a glowing something, right? So there are murals that you can find and other clues and stuff like that. Right, let's take a look at this. Yeah, so these are the ruins of some kind of civilization. Okay, spears, fire, something, drinking a frog, po probably poison. Okay, somebody drank something and then got chucked into the water. <laughs> One poke point. Okay, when death had taken the last of the highest ones, the great one, the great hunt ended. But the families and the loved ones of the highest ones, who were gifted long, longevity, faced an even worse fate than death in battle. Okay, the day after the end of the hunt, all of the gift. All the gifted ones were brought to a high cliff above the deep sea on the island of the birds, which presumably is here. One by one, the gifted were brought to a cliff and fed the poison of a swamp frog, which immobilized them. And those who drank were thrown paralyzed to the bottom of the sea to drown. At the end of the day, there were, there were no gilded left alive, and their bones rest at the bottom of the sea. The race of immortals was destroyed forever, and only mortals dying of disease remained on the islands. Okay. And bloody hell, it's gotten dark. Um, I think we're gonna come back this way. So I will leave. There is something to be found. There is something we found there. So on the way back, I'll pick it up. And the moon is out. What the hell? That was that was a weird spear throw. I mean, he got there round and round about, but uh, yeah. Okay, I should have enough leaves to make a bed once I get there. So the place where the spyglass is has uh, fireflies there. So. We do want to get there at night, right? Okay, how much energy do I have? 19, okay, we should be okay. Okay, so the spears are behaving oddly, shall we say. Not exactly in accordance to physics. Mm, we do still have a fair way to go. I may be pushing it too hard here. Oh, it's getting really late, okay. Let's get a move on. 13 energy, okay, things are getting nasty now. Okay, so we're not going to get that much rest, but... I should be able to sleep enough to get enough energy to get back to the grotto and then we'll have a proper sleep there. What's this? Oh, fatigue, of course. So yeah, the game has a lot of conditions, seriously. This game is all about the conditions and the illnesses and stuff like that. Very impressive. Individually, all, the, all of the mechanics are relatively simple, right? So for example, like uh, stomach aches are based on a small percentage chance every time you eat any kind of food. But if you combine them all together, it does give you some emergent gameplay, which I appreciate. There's one thing that I really like is emergent gameplay. Strength 2 from walking around over encumbered. What a swan. Oh, there, there, there. Okay. See that light? That is that. That is the fireflies. And the reason you want to pick up the spyglass sooner or rather later is because every time you map something from the trees it gives you longer mapping range basically a spyglass gives you a boost to your uh, to your mapping get to the mountain which is over there i think i have not found the path there but i want to get up there this that temple up there is actually pretty much uh, safe from everything although there are some and there is a flying enemy right there so yeah although there is a flying enemy so we probably will get attacked, but uh, maybe safe in there? And that's the nest of that thing. Oh shit, okay, so if you run into nettles, you get stung. 10 energy. Oh shit. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Where, where, where? Over there. Oh, fuck, okay. Alright, fine. Um, I need to sprint. Get in there, boys. Ow, 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 ow. My ass. Oh, wrong way. Oops. And the snakes as well here, by the way. Snakes. Oh, get in there, get in there. 
Okay, got bit by something. Snake probably. Right, uh how much energy? Shit. Must craft bed. Okay, this place is safe from everything. Oh, three hours. Jesus. I need my, yeah, I need need a bit more than that. Okay, but we made it up here. Very important. Uh huh. There's a rope as well. Liana rope. Oh, two. Okay, two lianas. Okay, so there are some stone carvings that we can find. This one is missing. Two more. We need two more carvings. There are bones. Rare resources here. An obsidian. Piece of natives map. Learn the new way to open up the next region. Right, so according to this, in order to reach the next region, we need either the Spanish way, technological way, or the natives way. Which we seem to have. We just need a boat. There are some rare and useful materials in here, like obsidian. But this place is basically safe, so yeah, very important. Actually, can I make some liana ropes? Oh, we need narrow leaves. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can get that. We can get that, but the important thing is that we have lianas. Oh, these guys are about to rot. Oh yeah, okay, so we have to cook. Uh, might have to spend a day here. Might have to spend a day here, right? Just crafting and doing shit and then sleeping. I still haven't recovered from a stomach ache, but we are well on the way, so we should be okay. Okay, let's craft this into something useful, which is needles. Aha, uh -huh, new blueprint as well. Let's see here. Yes, a bow. Not a very good one, but yeah, we can still make a bow. Yes, and we can make a fishing rod from our tendon thread. So I do have to hunt animals. Okay, here we go. That's what bit me. In your face. Okay, I was in the sun. I was in the sun. Snake tail. That's... Ooh, okay, that's useful. So we can make some obsidian arrows, which were the best, basically. Here. Dried snake tails. Oh, okay, we can dry them. Let's get the axe out. I need to find a bit of stone. Okay, wide leaves. Yes, that's useful. Okay, now where's the bird? Mano, mano, pendejo. Come here. Me versus bird brain. It's... Okay, okay, fine. Now it spotted me though. Did he get me? Okay, so he got me. And I got it. There you go. Harpy. Acquired. Got him. Okay, we can probably harvest him inside here. Oh, so no trophy this time, I guess. That's right. That's right. We kicked the bird off. <laughs> okay, so another animal is hunting me. Okay, so it's probably a snake. In your face. Okay, an animal is hunting me. Okay, there's another carby. Let's get in the shade. That's right, folks. Spartans fight in the shade, apparently. That's living water. Yeah. And I think that altar that we went past also had a um, had some living water. Okay, now we got both of the snakes. I think the bird has given up on us. Right. And we'll just... We'll just chuck it out of here. Uh, yellow. Get out of here. That's right. You ain't flying nowhere. Oh, there's another carving. Okay. So how many carvings have I found? Because we need one and four. Right, and that's Columbus's Spyglass, which has a bonus of 25% range. Okay, it is... Oh, my energy is low. Right, I'll tell you what. Let's get some stones so we can cook. So we need piece four. Which I think is on the bottom here. So let me pick up a few stones, which I know are around here. Okay, I'm happy to leave you alone, buddy. I don't want anything you have. What I do want is the stones. Where are the stones? Oh, here. Okay, that's a massive stone right there. Okay, let's... Oh, it's getting... Oh, we're fatigued, sorry. Thought it was getting dark. No, I couldn't carry that. Yes, I can carry that. For a stone fireplace, I need... Uh... Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm not going to explore this location. 
Oh shit, six, six energy. Need to get back up there. Yeah, we need to sleep. That's the nest of the harpy, by the way. And there should be another stone in there as well. Um, four, okay. Perfect. So I've got piece one and piece four. And that should allow us to complete the mural. And that bird brain isn't coming after us, so that's good. I think you do get warned by the squawking when they come after you. Alright, nice and safe here. Okay, let's get in there. Get in there, get in there now. Shit. Let's get this done. Song of the Fountain. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me read that later, but let me sleep right now. Oh, disease. Okay, so we just lost. Okay, so disease got worse. Shit. That's not, that doesn't look good. Oh, that's crap. I might have to... Okay, so I think I have to take some medicine now. Okay, let's build a fire here. But anyways, because this is basically a permanent base for me... Right, low energy. Failed. You're a failure, apparently. Oh, injured. Oh, shit. And I've got injured. Okay. Oh, shit. Things are getting bad. Minor cut. Okay. I have to eat. Alright, I'll tell you what. We might lose the crab. Yeah, the crab's gonna rot, isn't it? Let's give this a try. Okay. Now crabs, crabs, crabs. We lost at least one crab. Okay, that's fine. 13 minutes. Uh... Crafting... Okay, the meat. Wait, is that likely to rot? Roasted crabs are fine. Uh, raw meat is... That's fine. Okay, need to eat, need to sleep. 13 days. Friday eggs last for 13 days. What the hell? Okay, so I'm hearing some flies, but I keep thinking that they're real flies. <laughs> keep looking around me. <laughs> I keep looking around me because it feels like they're real flies. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe I need to sleep for an entire day or something. Yeah, maybe I need to sleep for the entire day. Because I just don't have enough energy. Tell you what, I'll go for this. And then we'll just sprint back home. Okay, this is good. So we recovered one level of stomach ache. That's excellent. Okay, this one's good. And then we'll also drop some ripe coconuts if I have any. As a food source. Worst case scenario. And here we'll drop some mollusks. Plus sticks. Just for fuel as we need them. And also let's check out... Okay, fast start. Okay, excellent. This is very important. And we have a couple of perk points, by the way. Uh, let's see. Concentration. Special objects, weapons. Oh, okay. So basically, it's like Witcher, Witcher sensors. Poisonous animals. Okay. Animal remains and allows you me to see the tracks of animals. Oh, okay. So that is really useful. Okay. So that's recovery. Resist diseases. Resist poisons. Thirst. Okay. Right, right, right. Uh, food. Hunger control. Yep. Although this one seems... Actually, no, no. This one here. Learning. That one seems really important. I'll tell you what, let's learn faster. Ah, okay, so we need more PPs. That's right, folks, give me your PPs. So how many have we completed? None, right? We haven't completed any. Okay, great. I'm not sure what these things are. But anyway, more experience is good. More experience is good. Okay, so let's move on now. Yeah, it's getting late. We need to uh, make a run for home. Right, uh, these guys are good for short sticks, right? Correct. Okay, so I'll pick up all the leaves and all the stuff that I dropped on the way here. As well as anything in addition that I find. So the leaves are still here. If they're not going to despawn, then uh, why not collect them? You can always save them for a rainy day, right? Okay, so we know that there's some treasure if you dive off the dock, right? Where the sacrifice to all those immortals. But uh, I will get soaked by swimming. I don't want to have to start a fire just now. So just remember that that's there and they will come back for it. Okay, so so far we've been living off coconuts for drinking water and stuff like that. But... I get the feeling that we're not going to have coconuts for that long, right? So I should definitely start working on some kind of rain collector or desalinator or something else that will provide us with drinking water. Because food we can get, there's plenty of animals, but water seems to be a bigger challenge. Yeah, so this is where I get kind of nervous because I, I don't quite know what's in store for me now. And I'm still seeing, so I'm seeing 14, plus 14 for strength. So the game is not really being honest with me. I mean, it says that I should get 10% more experience. 10% earned skill bonus. So why am I only getting like 14? Anyway, being stronger is better, right? And apparently we also need to find skill books. Not sure why, but maybe there's a cap. 
So I guess I may need to set up intermediate caps, right? Because traveling seems to be quite... Uh, let's crab, 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 come back. Come back. Level 3 throwing. Okay, here we are. We're back home now. Sweet, sweet home. Oh yes, also, there is something here. Something shiny. Ancient hunting drawing. E. An ancient tablet with drawings. The hunting process is depicted here. The natives crouch and sneak up on animals and it seems that the animals do not hear them. The hunters approach the animals from behind. They hide behind trees and stones or come from the top of hills and the animals do not notice them. So that's a hint. So basically it means uh, aim for the ass. Go for the ass. Yeah, I don't think uh, wind in terms of like uh, being downwind from the animals makes a difference here. Okay, so the leaves are still here. Yep, throne has gone up. So we're becoming a really good nice hunter. So I'm not sure what the cap is. But so far it looks like we're nowhere near the cap. 500 XP is not that much. 4 hours is good enough. Yes we are. Still slightly sick. Still slightly sick. Uh, my clothing is holding up. 6. Oh shit. 6. Okay it doesn't take much to repair them which is good. Okay so in terms of survival. Uh, 4 walls. It's an easy one. Rain collector. Yes. Pump juice collector. What is this? Okay so we just unlocked a huge amount of stuff. Copper shovel, okay, copper. Presumably there's iron as well, somewhere. But how do I find a copper, uh, sorry, a uh, coconut something? Because, yeah, how do we... What's a coconut flask? How do I make that? I have not discovered how to make this. And this is deeply concerning. Anyway, it's daytime. Athletics 2, which gives me... Stamina recovery, okay, excellent. Right, now I need to find Liana. Diana's just to make ropes. Diana ropes, right? Uh, tools? Diana rope. Two item here. Uh, other items, okay. Okay, so I can make some ropes. Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's make ropes right now. Because Liana's by themselves are kind of pointless, aren't they? Okay, and. Yeah, 57 minutes? Yeah, that's fine. 11 new blueprints. Oh, shit. Aha, uh -huh, stone spear. So, yeah, ropes are basically useful for pretty much everything, right? Yeah, bows, spears, clothing, bandoliers. Yeah, this is very important. As well as buildings, right? Protected box. Better preservation. Oh, shit. Oh, that's good. That's good. Machines. Aha, uh -huh. yes, that's right. Especially for the workbenches. I don't know what they do yet. Aha, uh -huh. here we are. Ripe coconut. Right, uh, that carries liquid. So that's basically a... Uh, a sleeping bag, right? Okay, so we need the rain collector. Install on date pump to start collecting. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. This is important. Okay, that's important. What about you? That's a rain collector. Yeah, flint. We need flint shards. Okay, so all this stuff is useful. But the most important thing is water. A reliable source of water. Solar water? This. What? <laughs> okay. Fine, we're going for solar power, are we? Right. Okay, so let's see. To craft. Uh, ba oh, bamboo stick. Ooh, don't have that. Don't have that, So, but I do have this. Okay, um, got to make this, right? Uh, why can't I... Why wouldn't it go here? Anyway, ripe coconut. I mean, it's a shame to lose the food, but... Okay, that's going to go. Uh, it's a shame to lose that. All right, uh, let's see. Jesus, it's already midday. Bloody hell. No fuel, uh, no tinder. Sheesh, okay, we're in trouble now. Um, I can use yellow leaves, but yeah, I need more, I need better sources of tinder. Failed. Lost tinder. Failed again. Oh yes, and also, let me, make, let me make a torch and explore the back of the cave. What's the time? Oh shit, time is flying. Jesus. Okay, now. Uh, it's a shame that we can't leave things to cook. I think the long dark in the early stages also had similar behavior. But now we can leave things to, uh, to burn by themselves. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Faith in who? I have faith that the devs will actually change the game system so that we don't have to sit here while this stuff is cooking. Is that good enough for you? Okay, how do I make torch? Right, where's torches found? 
melee weapons? Are you kidding me? What? Okay, how? Uh, oh yes, ignite by fire. Excellent. Actually, how much fuel do I have? Eight minutes. Uh, how do I extinguish this? How do I extinguish the... I don't know how long the torch goes for. Okay, wide leaves. Okay, I can finally see indoors. Bloody hell. <laughs> that is... Bones, okay. So let's explore the back of the cave. It's pretty late already, so... Ah, some sticks. So how long does how long does the uh, thing burn? Fifty-two out of sixty. What, what was, wait, what is this? Chance of ignition. Okay. Melee range shot. Stamina drain. Why? Why? Was, why am I draining stamina? Um. Yeah. There's definitely boars and stuff like that. I mean, this is the beginning island, right? So, so far I've seen chickens, those little dogs that are kind of like raccoons or slash squirrels. The ones that we fought on the, on the, on the boat. Uh-huh. Hey, what the hell was that? Oh, shit. You bit me. No. How did you get to me? But yeah, there's definitely boars. I've died to them. I've actually died to the boars. Anything else down in the water? Um, I haven't been in the water. I haven't been in the water, but... There's definitely fish. You can see them from the surface. Now, I don't know if there's actually sharks or any other hostile sea creatures, but I'm guessing that if they aren't there already, I'm guessing that they will be there soon. Because, I mean, the game is all about, uh, you know, like... If the, if the water wasn't dangerous, then... What challenge would there be, right? In going uh, going fishing. So I can't imagine that they would leave the water without predators of some kind. But yeah, I haven't confirmed that. I just haven't been in the water. I'm too scared, man. Shit. Come here. There was another carcass. Did it glitch underground? Looks like it did. Ah, okay, so this doesn't last that long. Oh, does this lead to the outside? You gotta watch out for the scorpions, bloody hell. Hmm, okay, maybe this is the path to the mountain. Shit. Did not expect this, because this, but this is going up. This is really going up. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, it's getting just, it's getting pretty dark, so I can't quite uh, stay here. What is this? Liquid palms. Okay, so yellow and narrow leaves. Excellent. Uh, oh no, definitely not the top of the mountain, but there is a bit of a plateau here. Where are we? Oh, okay, so south of that area. Right, 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 right. Um, is that a cartographer's tree? Okay, what if I drop this? Let's see. Ah, okay. Yeah, it looks like we can use a torch to light a fire, but we can't use a torch to light a torch, right? Unless I'm mistaken. No, we can't throw the torch. Okay, we definitely have to map things. Oh, that would take hours. Oh, shit. Oh, actually, no, no, that's... I've already been to that one, okay. There's another tree over there, though. Aha, uh -huh, lots of wide leaves over here. Excellent. So I can let the fire go out, but... I should think about how to preserve the fire. Okay, you know what? Let's extinguish this. Hmm. So you gotta extinguish it. Okay, what happens if I ignite it? 
Right, so you have to use the fire starter. Yeah, and there's a wind penalty. Yeah, you know what? Let's go back. Let's go back. Get some sleep. Recover energy. Because, yeah, not being rested is a problem. Okay, 25 days. No. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You want to come around? You want to fight me? I'll cook you. I'll cook you for dinner. Did I make one of these guys? Oh, I didn't. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's a huge amount of stuff. Seriously. I'm sure they can add more recipes and stuff like that, but um, like I said before, the game is pretty much feature complete already. So it just basically seems to be about adding more locations and stuff like that. Ah, shit. Okay. We have to so I wanted to craft something, but it's dark. Okay, so we have to cook the meat. Ah, shit. Maybe I should have cooked it when I had the fire. Hmm. Okay, so let's sleep. Time passes so quickly in this game. Seriously. So quickly. Still haven't recovered from the stomach ache. My god. Okay, have to cook the meat. Can kind of eat that. Can kind of drink that. And that does give us both vivacity. Oh no, that's, that's a different that's energy. So we have natural recovery. So there are there are two more sites to be visited. Four more pieces of native map and eight more interesting sites. We also need to find sources of water, which apparently do exist. Apparently either here and here. Okay, let's go map the place. I've taken care of the scorpions, so the the way should be clear, right? At least. Oh yeah, no, okay, no, it's not, it's not clear. Fuck you, scorpions. Oh, it's raining out there, shit. Okay, so we're being soaked. Mm, I, cooked it. I could take the chance to cook. Light a fire and cook or something like that, but... Let's check out that little location over there. Actually, let me see if I can't find water. So there's a pile of stones over here. We are right there. So there's two things I need to find right now. Lianas, to make more liana ropes, as well as, uh, as well as the source of water. That's my priority right now, and frankly... So at this point I'm playing blind, right? Finding the magnifying glass is about as far as I got previously. I'm basically playing blind right now. So take that as a formal announcement that I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Got him. Although my axe, how's my axe looking? Mm, it's okay. Oh, what is that? Okay. Is that the big white sign? Okay, hello. Is this the white sign? Oh shit, what is this? Uh, windy. Oh shit. So I was soaked and it's windy. Ah shit. So what's happened? Okay, so I have to say that I can't see shit. Oh, come on game. Okay, so maybe I need to take some medicine. Stone deposit, okay. The hell? I can't see. So the weather is actually making it so I can't see. Right, and we're getting worse indigestion. This is not good. Right, let's just keep climbing. I'll drop them here. I'm sure we can come back for them. Yeah. I really can't see. Oh, shit. How do I climb up? Okay, maybe it's not a good idea to do this right now.
Yeah, can't properly see. Right, we'll come back. We know we know where we are, right? Okay, we need to cook the meat, so let's let's start a fire. We'll cook the meat, and then uh, I'll also uh, what can I do? Oh, shit, uh, shit, shit, shit! It's <laughs> scarring my way up. But I definitely need to find some more uh, some more trees to climb because I'm finding I'm finding it difficult to find things to get uh, to get to where I need to. Uh, I think I may have been here on a yeah I think I've been here on a previous on a different save. This goes down to the beach. Level three strength. Okay, so I got bit by something. Shit! What happened? Oh shit! Okay, so I've got this. Right, so we're basically, we've been poisoned and we're sick. Right, need some chamomile then. I need to get rid of that, uh, that indigestion. That is refusing to go away by itself. We do have some scorpions, so we can make them medicine. Let's take the time to heal right now. It seems that you can easily get sick, as in proper sick. If you don't take care of yourself. So let's make sure we do that. There should be some chamomiles right around the corner, so I think I just need one plus some plus some wide leaves to make to make the medicine. Okay, there's you. Yeah, I'm gonna cook your ass. You're getting cooked. Right, let's go back. So the wind and the rain deteriorated into fog, which kills visibility. Oh my. Okay, so it's about midday and I can't see shit, so. Alright, uh, let's see. Three minutes of fuel. Got enough sticks. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Ah, bloody hell. God damn, this is getting... Shit, my fire start broke as well. All right, maybe I should maybe I should invest in this. Can I? Oh, three bucks. Oh shit. Uh, it's only twenty five percent. Yeah, it's not that much, but it does last a lot longer. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay. Pendejo, don't run away from the fire. The meat has to be cooked right now. Two hours and forty. Shit. That's right. I'm master chef, baby. One hour twenty-eight. Once the meat is done, fried eggs. Need another egg. Okay, dogs. One hour and twenty. Shit. And I went 29. 45 minutes. Okay, let's. Yeah, one chamomile juice. Mm, actually, no, I think I'm gonna need this. So, uh, two. Alright, so 30 minutes. And 46 minutes. 28 minutes. I think that'll be it. It is. Yeah, it's midnight. Okay, so let's extinguish this. There's all right, uh, let's see. Let's eat. We need to heal ourselves. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's random whether it cures one or two disease degrees. Okay. Okay, so once you take medicine, apparently there's no chance of, get, of it getting worse. Right, it can't get worse by itself. Mm, okay, fair enough. All right, so make sure that we eat. Alright, so this one lasts for five days. Five days. Eggs are going for 0 0.6, okay. No, no, sorry, 11 days. Okay, fine. I guess we'll have to go with that water. Jesus. 21, 14, okay. We got a tiny bit of water from that. Yeah, so... 
They're not going away, but they're not getting worse. All right, uh, I need to I need to do this sooner rather than later. Aha! Would have been great to have yesterday. Oh, hammer! Ah. Uh, Okay, no wide leaves. No more wide leaves. And also I need to pick up some more tinder. Yellow leaves for tinder. Okay, so I... Actually, let's get back to the mountain. Um, I'm really thirsty, but I will, let's get back to the mountain. Hopefully we can find a source of water, right? Although I wouldn't mind a few coconuts here. And I'm only playing on normal, seriously. What? Chinese palm. Okay. Right, dates. Ah, oh, coconut palm, okay. Uh, green. An animal is hunting you. Ooh. Come here. Stabby stab. Okay, and drink up. My god. Should maybe not sprint through here. Because I. Uh, yep. yep. Where's this? Where's the snake? Fuck. Bloody hell. Oh, no tool. Wait, what? Oh, you need a stone cutter. Okay, fine. There's stones up there. Jesus. Luckily we uh, luckily we took the medicine, so we should be okay against poisoning, right? That came in handy. But yeah, the game is surprisingly dark, I have to say. I mean, it does correspond to the weather, right? But let me go this way, because I think it's too dark for me to climb. So let me just go this way. Uh, something's shining. Yeah, something's shining. Maybe I can find a few... Uh... Actually, do I have any ropes? Yes, I do. Okay, so I've got one rope. Maybe I can find one of those cartographer trees. Is that it? No, but that's tinder. Which I, which I really need. But yeah, the game's quite dark at this stage. It's... I mean, the weather's not great, but... Okay, fair enough. Maybe I need to turn up the gamma. Okay, let me, let me just... Just do this. Oh, okay, that's... That may be too bright. Yeah, this is actually more palatable. I have to see how bright it gets during full sunlight, but... Otherwise, I can't see what the hell's going on. Okay, so we found some kind of a... Uh, a stone head. Song of the Golden Age. From the, and from the day the Palace of Trials was built, the Golden Age began. It was the era of wise chieftains, brave sailors, in, ingenious healers, and skillful craftsmen. The best of them presented their deeds for the judgment of the Council of Four Tribes, and the Great Four were at the head of that council. The council chose the best of the best and called them their Honored Ones. The Honored Ones then sailed the Stormbreakers through the fog of their belts, to pass through the Palace of Trials on Bimini. The worthy who passed all trials were named the highest ones. They drank the waters of the fountain to prolong the years and took the water with them in special vessels to give to whomever they chose. Those who were granted such a gift were called the Gifted Ones. Okay, and the Gifted Ones were the ones who were chucked off that pier. And the faces of all the highest ones were carved in stone and the Golden Age lasted for many centuries, yes. And this is it, the Song of the Punishment of the Gifted. So they must have done something wrong. And yes, I need to read this later, but uh, not right now. Can okay, also tobacco. That is medicinal. Okay, now. Come on, let me find water. Where do I find water? Is this gonna hurt? Okay, it is gonna hurt. Okay, fine. It is gonna hurt.
Hopefully I haven't lost that spear. Ah, right here. Okay, so I see something there, but where am I? Oh, so that's that, okay. Uh, so it seems that we need to... Oh, this is a jungle, isn't it? This seems... Mahogany. Okay, so we need this for the fire starter. Although that... Yeah, I can't afford to use the rope yet. Canoe and... What is this? Piece of leather. Piece of leather. Okay, that's important. Ah, oh, white leaves, okay. An animal is hunting me, who? Oh, hello. It's a boar? That's a boar. They don't seem to be aggressive until you hunt them, so... We are in the jungle, right? Is that Liana? Is that Liana? No? Where do I find Lianas? Please tell me. Because these things look like Lianas to me. I need water. A banyan? Oh shit. The fuck? Okay, the day is lighting up now. Avoid! Where'd he go? They give a chance to turn back, excellent. Okay, that was ugly. Oh, I need a cutting tool. Okay, I might have to come back here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, is that too bright? Okay, that's more realistic. Mm. Right. The big trees have lianas. Excellent. Okay. Where are we? Right here. So basically, east of the chickens. <laughs> that's one way to navigate. All right, uh, I need some stones. Is it too bright again? Okay, that's more natural. Yeah, it's a lot more natural, sorry. Yeah, it is a lot more natural this way. When the weather isn't good, it gets really dark. Aha, here we are. What about this? That's broken. May not want to be exposed to the sun here. And here's the ball, okay. All right, let's make a cutting tool. Is this tobacco compress for burns, of course. Okay, so I need a cutter of some kind. Hmm. Two hours. Oh, minus 90, shit. Animal fat, what do I do with animal fat? I don't have a dry rack. Okay, so let me skip the meat. Uh, I think the fresh hide will be important. I think the tusk will be important as well, but I don't have enough. Alright, it's getting late. I guess we have to head for home now. Seriously, time passes by too quickly in this game. And this this path leading up to the mountain. 
Oh, that could be the case. Right. But yeah, time passes by too quickly in this game. It almost feels like you just don't have enough time to do what you need to do. I guess I guess it is simulating the size of the island, right? But you know, it just feels like it's too much. Anyway, we kind of know how to get back to that boar. Hopefully, hopefully it does last for a bit. And then let's check out what kind of recipes we can get. Now, hopefully we'll get cured because oh, actually, I don't have I don't have water. Okay, um, let's grab a coconut or two. An animal is hunting me. Why? Leave me alone. I was just checking out uh, what I can do with each material. So the animal fat doesn't seem to be useful right now, but, but we can make some lamp oil from it. The fresh hides, I think they'll be useful later on, but the tendons are very important. And the raw intestines, I don't know what to do with them. Oh, we can eat them, but that's, yeah, that'll make us sick. Soup with bejesus. The hell is bejesus? What the bejesus is bejesus? Hearth with a pot, okay. Restores 20 per, 22, per, 22 food and 40 water. That's... That is amazing. Earth to sequential. Earth to sequential. Are you muted? <laughs> the answer is I was. <laughs> so anyway, the intestines is good, but not something I should have got right now because we don't have that. Oh, she had poisoned. Oh, fuck. Not again. All right. All right. It looks like I have to use some kind of medicine in order to, uh, in order to restore myself. Right. So the hides don't actually rot. So that's good. Fat and, and intestines are basically useless. I've got food, not water. Don't have any water though. All right. Let's see. Uh, 3.8, 2.3. Okay. Wait. Okay. So seven food. Oh fuck, was that raw? Oh shit, that was raw. Oh, we're not healing. Okay. We're not healing. We are not healing. Let's just say that things are not looking particularly nice right now. I screwed myself over with uh, eating some raw dog. We weren't able to cure the stomach ache and uh, poisoning got worse. Yikes. Yeah, we need to take care of this. Luckily, I've got some scorpions we can use to take care of that. Yes, scorpion venom. But let's just say that we've progressed quite a bit, right? Look at that. Fire starting has gone up. And it seems to be really important because starting a fire takes forever. And cooking has gone up a bit. Yep. The skinning. And strength. So lots of, lots of stuff being achieved. And also, let me get that. So we have made a lot of progress. Uh, but we're kind of being held back by being sick. The most critical need that I have right now is water. I can harvest some coconuts, but that's not a that's not a long-term solution. So I think I might have to look into crafting here what? The water the water collector. Is that it? Machine? Oh here. I should be able to wait, didn't I pick up white leaves? Anyway, that's fine. Maybe I should look into this. Yeah, uh, but I need I need a hammer. I need a hammer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can do this. We can do this. Anyway, I look into that. I think we need to get this set up sooner rather than later because I've just not been able to find the water sources that were marked in the map, right? It says literally there. Should be something here. So there's two parts. So I think we need to climb the mountain basically. And here there's probably a whole bunch of animals, so yeah. Finding water is gonna be kind of kind of a priority next time. But anyway. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. It's been a... Uh, I have to say that I really enjoyed this game. This game is basically feature complete as far as I'm concerned. We've only just begun to explore the, the list of craftables. We have gone up a few skills and I think they will help us survive, but... Yeah, I should look into some of this stuff. Anyway, priority is going to be water next time. Because we can get food in one way or another, but water is a problem. And I need to look into a better cutter. Because this one's a breaking. Anyway, thank you very much. 